sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Mothership. I do appreciate the likes, the donations, the shares, the confirmations you send me through email. The positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself. And overall, the positive way you show up in the planet. Now, with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. All right. Cleanse and prosperity. All right, so mm, another 11. Okay, so there's some sort of judgment here, some sort of finalization. Something is being complete, right? Somebody's being renewed. This could be a renew of faith or hope. This could be a renew of your finances and or your health, okay? But I'm picking up the energy of a, of, of a judgment here, all right? So for some of you, you could be in a Saturn return, Okay, you may have been being judged because of the people that you were around. You may need to clean your energy. Okay, so we got uh, Mother Mary. Okay, so this is about your heart. Okay, this is about compassion. This is also about you having faith in whatever it is you're trying to achieve or bring to the forefront. Okay. Um, some of you, some negative energy has been released off of you. Possibly, I'm hearing about the heavenly realms or something like that here. Somebody had a preconceived notion or somebody may have um, I'm hearing something about property value. I got a lot of interesting down. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, there's some sort of facade here. Um, illusion, maybe confusion. Uh, those of you that know Mother Mary and Yahshua or Jesus or Muhammad, whatever is the equivalent to this energy in your belief system, right? Some people believe this is a divine couple, uh, you know, or whatever, okay? This has something to do with your mothering skills or being a mother. Somebody may need to heal the feminine principle within themselves here. This is somebody that does not operate out of their heart space. These hearts are sticking out to me. So, yeah. Um, the violet flame, some of you may have been doing that meditation. Okay, but what I'm also picking up is uh, energy here. All right, somebody showed you no mercy, especially with this combination. OK, um, but there's some sort of protection or shield surrounding what it is you are trying to um, conceive. OK, give birth to, um, you know, for some of you, this is a new belief system. This could be expanding on something that you already believe. There's some sort of ascension. Somebody may be climbing the ladder to success or again, somebody could be getting uh scapegoat some of you you may feel like an energy being drained uh, or released from you possibly multiple times now um you know i gotta remind people and warn people i got a doppelganger a copycat a replica a clone i want to be me but try and do it better than me an english professor a whatsapp bandit and a voodoo high priest or priestess all floating through that comment section but also got a lot of love. That voodoo high priest or priestess is promising to get your love back for a small fee of $39.99. All you gotta do is sign your life away on the dotted line. Do not fall for the okie doke people. If you have to bend someone's will for them to be with you or for you to be with them, they don't need you and you definitely don't need them. This is past, present, or future energies. Parts may resonate with you, parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. This could be someone in your environment, someone thinking of you, you are thinking of them, an ex, a co-worker, a passed over loved one. You may or may not know these individuals, okay? You need all information that you need about me or regarding this reading shall be in the description box below. It's a link where you can copy and paste that in your browser. You receive a free bird chart from a reputable site, no affiliation to me. Be mindful the scammers are scamming. I will not solicit you for my services. I will not ask you for donations. And all my personal sessions are closed. I do not comment on any content creator's content, and I haven't done so in years. So if you see my picture floating around, that's one of my doppelgangers. Now listen, before, um, ooh, yeah, Saturn return. Judgment day, dark night of the soul, take it how it resonates. But, but listen, this is what I'm picking up here. Uh, somebody has a leadership role. 
Capricorn, Aquarius, Cuffs could be significant, could be two different people, or this is somebody that has some sort of status, influence. They come from affluence. They were trying to affluence something here. This is a, this is like a predominant figure, at least in their community here. Somebody gave some sort of instruction. Okay, now somebody feels like their back is against the wall. Listen, y'all, um, this is specifically... I, it, I don't know how to present this because it's going to be different for everybody. Um, there's somebody that watches the 15 seconds, okay? 15 minutes of fame could be significant. Um, the first 15 minutes, okay? Now, depending on who watching, it could also be the first 48. Now, listen, the, the download that I received was, ugh, I was like, what? It's something about a smell. Um, and I, and, and, what I was hearing, of course, it's not voices in my head. It's like, I don't know how to explain it, um, was where's the proof? Where's the proof? Where's the proof? And then the reply was, it's in the, it's under the mattress, in the mattress. And then I seen a vision of someone Googling how to get rid of a smell. Okay. Um, it could have something that to do with, uh, it could be like a cancerous smell or it could be a pungent smell here. Okay. So obviously this is surrounding a public figure, a business owner, someone that has a high position, a throne, elect, a chosen one, take it how it resonates. This could also be a father figure. This could be about your father. This could be your divine masculine, or this is you divine masculine. Okay. This could also be a female. OK, it's in some sort of leadership role or they're being appointed to a leadership role, especially with Saturn here um, and in the 10th house. For some of you, um, you have faith in a commitment or in a person. OK, and I'm hearing something about an obligation. Now, I also picked up the energy of reunion. That could be a reunion of your soul, of your heart, of your money, <laughs> of a person. Um, you know, um, this could be you getting back on the right track. Some of you, you are traveling or you're completing the cycle. Most definitely, because there's too much Saturn energy here. So it's different. So for some of you, this is about a release of a contract. Okay. A release of some sort of tangible goods. And, you know, I, I get it, right? I get it. That sometimes, especially my older videos, they're being looked at for whatever reason. But it, but do y'all got a sense where I'm like, I I don't I don't understand that. I don't I don't understand that. Um, I'm also hearing court, court appointed. Somebody is restricted. This is someone that you were in a contract with or this person is. This could be somebody's child's mother because we got Mother Mary and we got Saturn here. There's a father figure. There's a commitment here. There's also a mother. This mother could be a distorted mother. This could be the mother of your child, a mother of an institution. Somebody could be getting called in. Yeah. It feels like somebody's trying to delay a truth here. Okay, so we got the justice here and we got it. Um, this is something that is happening in the ethereal realm. Okay, so something was submitted, agreed, approved on. Okay, because somebody passed some sort of test. Um, this has something to do with your faith. Obviously, some of you, you were battling some sort of principality, some sort of demon. It could be court. Spiritual court, physical court, especially with the throne being here. So this has something to do with enforcement, enforcement of law, judgment. OK, somebody being able to move forward, getting the victory. Um, and, you know, since we're talking about all this heaviness, if you are experiencing any mental health, physical health, spiritual health. OK, DV, at least attempt to seek the right um, authorities here. This reading is for entertainment purposes only, and that's not to diminish anything that you're going through. That is to protect me legally. So this has something to do with the high priestess, someone 
or high priest that uses their intuition. Okay. Um, for some of you, I mean, this could be like a soul tribe member. It could be platonic. It could be romantic. Okay. But what I'm picking up is, uh, of course, you could be with this person in a contract with this person, trying to nurture something with this person, healing with this person physically and or spiritually. Okay. But what I'm picking up, this is two different people um, that is getting some sort of victory here. Balance is being restored. Um, and you're moving forward. Now, both of you, yeah, both of you are rulers in your own dimension, world, okay? And you're getting this victory because you use your intuition. I'm hearing something about placement. Now, obviously, this has something to do, to do with adjudication, some sort of lie, some sort of mishap, contract, uh, judgment, okay? Um, I'm also getting the energy of... I once was blind, but now I see. So it's like kind of like somebody's putting together all the missing pieces on how to present something. Um, this has something to do with an unalive situation. Exoneration is also what I what I heard. Somebody could be seeking counsel when it comes down to an unalive situation. This person could be a celebrity. I don't know. Yeah. Somebody is confused or they thought they thought they knew some information about a contract here. Somebody could also be having headaches. This person feels disconnected from source. They may also spend a lot of time in darkness. They were attempting to manifest in darkness. Stop somebody from traveling here. Somebody was trying to condemn someone to a negative fate. Um, they may have went to someone that has some sort of authority to do so. This person may have gotten a lot of people in trouble. Somebody could feel like you are the cause of this trouble. Tenth house. This is surrounded someone's career. Of course, you could have some sort of fame, influence. You could be an influencer. Or your energy is just influential. So... I mean, this could be like a celebrity couple, but this could also be two different people that are in karmic energy. All right. Um, this has something to, to do with taking someone's energy, someone's currency, finances, stability. OK, and there's some sort of recognition that's coming from that. Either people are starting to realize, connect the dots, see some similarities here. Yeah, because it's a lot of Capricorn. So this is earthly uh, energy, tangible energy, things you can touch, taste, and feel. Oh, yeah. We're talking about the completion of a contract, something that is not protected. Somebody does prosperity spells. Now, that could be actually... Bippity boppity boo, some sort of candle work to manifest. Some people feel like that's all right. Some people feel like it's not. That's not, I'm not the moral police. But that pro pro property, uh, prosperity spell could also be someone that does something unethical. This is someone that was assured, I'm here in Gongo, they were, um, yeah. For some of you, this could have something to do with your children. And I'm hearing something about something getting out of control. It could be a statement. Something was was written. Okay. This could be about two children. Um, you know, somebody could have twins here. Um, but this could also be somebody that doesn't take care. Like, I don't say take care of. They don't watch their children. It's kind of like they may have um, like affluence. They have good careers, but they're not really like they don't pay attention to their children. It's like somebody had children just maybe because they have they're they're married and they they also lack faith here. Um. Yeah, somebody likes faith. 
they were also dishonest about something that was presented possibly online. Yeah. It, and it's kind of like, we've seen the high priestess, so either you informed someone about a contract, a commitment, traveling, or this is you. You were informed here. You may see this person as caring. I feel like this the Saturn and this Justice card was someone that may they may have felt like you're you're not open to other beliefs, and so it's easier to manipulate you. Okay, these scales. This, this scale is just. I keep looking at this scale. It's not. You see, this scale is like tipped. Tipped. They tried to tip the scale in their favor, but it was a, a delay here. Now this could also be someone that's actually locked up. Okay, for some of you, um, this this could have happened while somebody was traveling or traveling towards you. You know, um, I did a reading where uh, maybe a year or two ago where it talked about. Um, somebody get into a car wreck. This is somebody that was plotting something on you. Okay, or plotting to come towards you. Saturn, make sure to check out the last reading. Yeah, this is someone that spends a lot of time watching light workers here. This could be like manipulation of somebody's work content for finances here. This is somebody that's in a low place. They feel like you are the key to some sort of success. This person may be planning on traveling towards you or manipulating your work. But with uh, my yacht being here, it's like ethics, morals. Um, I don't know why I heard the 48 laws of power, but the 48 laws of my yacht could be significant as well. Something was presented about someone that means well by someone that doesn't. And I feel like this is uh, either you have a child with this person, they're childish, egotistical, or they have a, ch a child with someone else. Um, notice how we got two Leo, like two. This person can have multiple contracts. We got Saturn twice, Leo twice. So either this person, I mean, they could be a bigamist, but whatever they do, I'm hearing something about falsehood, facade, maybe how they gain their wealth. And this is going to resonate with everybody um, for different reasons. OK, for some of you, this has something to do with property and our prosperity. But we're definitely speaking about your career, a cycle, and traveling. Traveling away to someone, traveling towards someone. I feel like something was stopped. Something was stopped. Maybe unbeknownst to you. Because somebody feels restricted. It's to, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that walk in the, the tight rope, but this red is, sick, is significant here. Like red tape, like somebody couldn't do something um, until they had all the information. So how this plays out is there could have been a lot of fees, fines, and restitution. For some of you, this has something to do with child support. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. Uh, uh. Some of you, you may have gotten yourself into a contract with somebody that has a lot of children, possibly all over the world in different cities. OK, but there's something um, about these children. They could be star seeds. They could have um, like and, and this is not because my son is on a spectrum, but maybe. These, these children have spe like ADHD or spe it's something about these children. Now, I don't know if somebody was married and they were saying, that's not my child. Somebody wants me for prosperity. Somebody took some prosperity, but it was the other way around. So it's kind of like somebody has like something that's being stopped, delayed. They may have did. 
some sort of ritual to delay something. Now they're caught up in that energy. So it's kind of like, okay, say for instance, somebody, uh, I'm here to stay of motion. See, I don't like when I be getting all that because I don't like talking about legal stuff. But it's like some sort of stay. And because, man, somebody may have to get a uh, like a court appointed official. Like somebody don't don't have money for legal fees or something like that. And it's kind of like this 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 is like payback for keeping someone stuck. This is an unfinished lesson. Somebody was trying to teach you a lesson. Now they're being taught a lesson. This definitely speaking about somebody ending something, moving away, and somebody trying to keep them stuck bound here, restricted. It could have been some sort of work that was done in the spiritual realm to block off somebody in the physical realm where they have to, like, more money is going out than it is coming in. And for some of you, you have a family or a child with this person or you are this child. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's a lot of distorted mother energy. For some of you, this could be a mother figure, a sister, an aunt. Ooh, we. I'm hearing guilty pleasures. So somebody is taking responsibility for something that they obtain. Now, whatever they obtain is something tangible. Again, but there's green sticking out. It has something to do with currency, like money. Somebody may have um, somebody like they have road rage. Okay. They may drive really fast. Somebody could have been DUI in and maybe pulled over. It's, it's like something happened in a car traveling that was unexpected. It's kind of like somebody ran up on a Saturday return. And, the, and I talked about this in the last reading. This person is very emotional, irrational. I'm hearing something about unspoken, unspoken truth. Deep healing and love. For some of you, this person don't know how to love. They're very possessive, controlling. They want to control others because they can't control themselves. This is somebody that's unstable. If they don't get what they want, which may be you or something that you have, they want to put you in a bad place. It's kind of like tackling demons here. I feel like an official person is no, noticing something or they heard something. A conversation. This may have frightened someone. It may have even made someone emotional. Um, I'm here unthinkable, unthinkable. Somebody said something here that was unthinkable that bound them. Let's see what's up under here. We got Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Aries, Pluto. I'm here in the second house. Second house? Seventh house. So Pluto. Ooh, this is a karmic contract. Okay, so I'm for some of you, this is siblings. It's kind of like something was passed down to a sibling. Somebody then tried to pass it down to their children. This could be a generational curse. Somebody's bound to. This could be like underhanded people partnering, partnering together to come up with some sort of plan here. Respect the bottom. Yeah. Somebody could have Aquarius in the North Node. I feel like, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, so I, people band together. And I know y'all tired of it because I'm tired of it, too. People band together to stop someone from moving forward. This is like a plan here that got out of somebody's control. Now, I feel like someone knows, like somebody has a high position here. I'm going to go back to Libra. Somebody has a high position, so they may have used their influence in some kind of way. 
because this this is this is all red at the top, right? So somebody's angry here. Okay. And it's kind of like somebody's saying, let something go, let something go. Let someone go. Saturn. Somebody doesn't want to hear it. It's like um somebody's conscious is speaking to them and or they may hear some dark energy or something. I think I said that at the beginning. All right. Um, Child. I don't know, y'all. I'm just not feeling it today, you know? Especially when I get, like, like eerie type of messages at the beginning. It's in the mattress, under the bed type. It's like if somebody's looking for something. And then they, they possibly tearing their they apartment up doing so. Okay. I don't know. I would watch it because it's kind of like maybe a child walks out the door. Because this door is open. Oh. Um. Somebody did some sort of protection. For, for themselves but not their children. Somebody could have literally left out the door. I don't know. It's kind of like something happened unexpectedly. Um, it's kind of like a door was open, left open here. And and this chariot, I don't, I, I don't know, I, I don't know if somebody gets into a car accident, like, cause I'm seeing like somebody going through a gate, like a gate, maybe hitting a, a home or something or a business. I picked that up a couple of years ago. Justice Wise is here. Like somebody literally ran into a building in a car, but somebody could have. Oh, I just heard a. I don't know if y'all heard that, but I just heard. Somebody could have ran into a building like on feet. I don't know. This could be like a pursuit or something. See, I don't like when I'm, it's, but I mean, it's nothing really that I could do. Right. Um, I, I posted about somebody saying uh, we should be looking for missing children. And, you know, I'm going to say it again. It's something that I would love to do. But with people trying to assassin, you know, m my character make me out to be a fraud, set me up and all type of stuff. It's kind of hard to do. And so a lot of times my videos get censored for different reasons. So, so I come to realize that now. So it may look like somebody is winning if they censor my videos. But I recently just realized that that's not the case. <laughs> The sun card. So yeah, it, it's mm, it's like it, it, it's like somebody wants to punish their the mother of their child, you know. And of course, because you know, some of y'all gonna say that's my story. You know, yeah, the, the, a part of this is my story, but this is somebody else's story as well, and um. I feel like I'm getting the perspective of what's taking place um, with somebody telling a lie. And that may be the repetitive read, like why the reading, the readings keep repeating because something was stuck. Something was stuck. And then we've seen the hangman in reverse where more money was going out than it was coming in. I feel like somebody was putting a lot of time in keeping somebody stuck. And in turn, they had like contracts that needed to be fulfilled. They may have lost their job. They had anger issues. They possibly went through a divorce. Somebody could have stepped, could have kept someone in a divorce, especially with the Queen of Pentacles here. Somebody stayed in the part, uh, a partnership because they, they lost money. So, because at one point, this is in the upright, five of pentacles. 
So, somebody's child mother or mother figure may have went to someone else's home to do something, but this person is no longer there. Okay. This could also be a restriction being lifted off of someone in regards to their children. Okay, I don't know why I'm here monitoring, monitoring, monitoring. Some of you, you may go to like, you know how you have supervised visitations or something like that. Queen of Pentacles. On the fence, somebody is greedy and financially dependent. But for some reason, okay, wait. Mm. Because this Mother Mary's giving me like cancer vibes. Because we got too much cancer, right? But you don't necessarily have to be a cancer. You're just somebody that's very nurturing. You got a you got a big heart here. So I don't know if this is a sibling of yours, somebody that you work with, somebody um, that you have children with, somebody that's working against you. Somebody may have been paying for someone's defense. I mean, that's what I'm getting from right here. Um. Because somebody's recovering something. Finances, health, nine of cups. Somebody was greedy. This just the, the sun and the shadow and this nine of cups just don't sit well with me. And typically nine of cups in reverse is an indication of greed. It's like something was released or something was recovered. I feel like it has something to do with finances here. Something was released to a child. Somebody's property. This is something that was hidden. Somebody could be a Cancer Moon. Scorpio, they may happen in the 10th house. Leo, somebody operates out of uh, darkness, in the dark. Somebody uh, needs to do shadow work. Ooh-wee. <laughs> Let me tell y'all what I got. Somebody somebody got, what is them called? Um, I want to say traffic enforcer, but that's not. You know how they have them, uh, them, them people on... <laughs> The highway patrolmen on the, it, it, and they be kind of like ducked off, and you start speeding. <laughs> it's not funny, but that's what it's kind of like. Maybe somebody got a lot of tickets or something because we got the King of Pentacles, and you know we did see that Saturn return. Um, it's kind of like somebody's it's Judgment Day. Um, now, for some of you, somebody could have got something in your name or something that was supposed to go to you and, and they ended up having to spend like spend it on um some sort of defense tickets uh, a home like something could have happened like somebody needed some repair work in their home like it's it's and this is something that's hidden this person is very angry because it was like somebody was trying to punish someone First of all, they took something from someone else and gave it to someone else that was greedy. Somebody that they're in a contract with. Now they're in regret. Because maybe a home was taken anyway. Something was taken. Um, now, if this is somebody paying for somebody defenses, I've been getting that whole bounty hunter thing. Right. If this is somebody paying for somebody defense, that could be another way. Somebody's home got took. Ooh. Somebody's not in the celebratory. Mm. I'll be telling y'all that'd be freaking me out sometimes. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that notification. Somebody's not in the celebratory energy no more because things is out of their control it's towers after towers after towers 
And somebody's success drives somebody crazy. And they are attempting to do something underhanded all the time. But I feel like because they 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 have something is cloaking this person where this will be one of them the moments where you be um you you'll be thinking like it can't be. Say it ain't so. I don't believe that. And then that is what this is. I'm hearing remarkable. I don't know why I heard it's always a comment. It's always a comment in every person's family. I feel like I'm picking up on a conversation that has to do with some official people. Somebody using their intuition, trusting their instinct. Somebody's trying to get away in the middle of the night. They're also being haunted by what they did. This has something to do with a missed opportunity. Um, this unicorn gives me somebody was focused on an illusion. And because they were focused on an illusion or delusion, it caused them to miss out on the opportunity. What's at the bottom? King of Pentacles. Knight of Pit. Yeah, this person was slowed down. This could be a business owner. Um, but this came from this this came for a purpose here. Why? Oh, I heard reciprocity, but I wanted to say lack of equal give and take. And I keep telling you, somebody got something that was meant for someone else and gave it to a greedy person. But this person had an unstable foundation. They were using each other. They were using each other. This is a, a husband here. Oh, I keep telling you somebody was, they was, they was taken from someone else and given to someone else. Or they gave something to, to, to someone else here. It could be because you moved away. Oh, so for some of you, somebody was trying to give you something, but you moved away. Okay, somebody may have wanted to speak to you. Surrounding your children, a mother figure. Is there some sort of contract, paperwork or something uh, involved in this? You know what? We're going to go ahead and take it to the other side. If you are a member, I will see you on the other side. If you would like to become a member, join the membership. If you are there solely just to um, report my videos, stay away. Okay, because it's, it's, it's getting redundant here. Like, you don't have to watch me. But because you continue to watch me, um, even though you don't like me, you don't like what I represent, that tells me that you are a part of some sort of deception that's going on behind the scenes. Whether if I know you personally or not, and you don't like the fact that it's being presented. Something's being documented. Um, so, we got ignore the opinion of others. <laughs> They'd be catting. Somebody didn't want you to enjoy your life. This cat got eyelashes on. Look at this. <laughs> Do cats really have? I've never really noticed if a cat have eyelashes. You can tell me. Some of y'all are going to be like, my cat got beautiful eyelashes. <laughs> I love cats, by the way. Um, we have whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their belief system. So whatever they think about you is not about you, but it is about them. Right? So I feel like that's good advice. We got the problem with making assumption is, is that we believe they are the truth. We make assumptions. We misunderstand. We take it personally. Then we react by sending emotional poison with our words. 
This created a whole big drama for nothing. It's like somebody's so egotistical. They think it's all about them. You know, I, I know I experience it. And I get it because sometimes the readings be, be like personal readings, although it is a collective reading. If you are in that stage where you got to like you got to um, feel like you have to defend yourself. Oh, that's not that's not me. That's stamp. You got to get out of that because somebody wants you to look irrational. The truth will speak for itself. OK, but you, you can't be in this back and forth with people back and forth. You got to kind of like that. Yeah, they want you to be isolated. That's fine. The divine has a purpose for you. If you if if the divine see that you needed to be isolated, then you'll be isolated. For some of you, some people get isolated for their protection. Whether if it's in an institution or in a home. I would rather be in my home tell you. Oh. Oh. Somebody had an ankle monitor on. Somebody had an ankle monitor on. Or they have one. All right. Uh, see you on the other side. Deuces.